Hi, I'm Cassie. I'm the curator of the Rose Melnick Medical Museum at Youngstown State University. Today I wanted to show you the two amputation kits we have in the collection. Medical toolkits were common in the 19th century because doctors did a lot of traveling to see their patients. Most people were treated in their homes or perhaps a doctor's office rather than in a hospital. This kit was made in the 1840s or 50s by J. H. Gemring. He started out as a cutler making silverware. That was a common transition to the medical instrument field before the time of machine-made tools. This kit was sold for about $36 in the 1850s. That's about $1,000 today. The other kit was bought in Cleveland around 1890 from a store called E.M. Hessler Instrument Company. This was the principal store for medical instruments in the Cleveland area from the mid-1880s through the 1890s. They would have had several different sizes of amputation kits available, ranging from small to large. This is a medium-sized kit because it contains knives and saws for all the extremities, as well as a tool for trephining. It would have been sold for about $30 or $700 today. So let's look at what these kits usually included. The capital saw, used to cut large bones. The bow saw, also used to cut large bones. A trephine is a handheld drill used to relieve pressure under the skull or repair depressed fractures of the skull. And this is the brush used to clean the teeth of the trephine. The tenaculum or artery hook holds arteries at the amputation site so they can be tied off. The haze saw is used to prepare a skull in the trephining procedure. A tourniquet, this is a brass screw type used to cut off blood circulation to the injury site before the surgery. An array of knives of different sizes used for soft tissue such as skin and muscles. Artery forceps used to clamp off an artery at the amputation site. Needles and silk thread. An elevator to lift small pieces of bone or other tissue. And a bone file to smooth the end of the bone after amputation. Although these tools make the operation seem grisly, amputation was the accepted form of treatment for gunshot wounds to extremities and fractures. By the time of the Civil War, anesthesia, usually chloroform, was administered during the procedure. Most amputees survived the operation, but Louis Pasteur's germ theory did not impact American surgical practice until the 1880s. Before this, infection was likely, and it was actually the main cause of death after an amputation. So there you have it, amputation kits. Be sure to check out our other videos on the Rose Melnick Medical Museum YouTube channel.